Hi students, this is Ms. Boyd and I'm going to provide you with a very brief overview of how you can access the Follett Destiny ebook collection. The first thing you're gonna do is log on to Clever. Once you log on to Clever, you're going to sign in using your credentials that you've been using all along to get into this wonderful portal. And on the left-hand side uh, panel, you're going to go down to Library and Resources. Click on Library and Resources, and then you're gonna go over to Destiny. This is where we're gonna spend some time today. So within Destiny, you're now relocated to the library, uh, the DC Public Schools Library Programs landing page. On the left-hand side, you're gonna scroll down to Middle Schools. Once you scroll down to Middle Schools, click on that hyperlink and go down to Jefferson MS Middle School Academy. So look for Jefferson MS Academy, click on the link, and now you're on the Jefferson Academy Virtual Library landing page. In the upper right-hand corner, you need to click on Log In. Log in using your Clever credentials again, and click Enter. On the top toolbar, click on Catalog. On the left-hand toolbar, or I should say panel, uh, click on Destiny Discover. In Destiny Discover, this is how you can access the eBooks, the interactive eBooks, and the audiobooks. You have some choices here. You can either use the arrow on the right hand, right hand side of the screen and click through and look for the books using that means of searching for an ebook, or you can click see all. Once you click on see all, go over to the left hand panel, you can search through filters. I like to use the genre filter and click all and find the book of my choice. So as you can see, there's a lot of books here. I'm gonna click on fiction and take a look at some of the eBooks that are within the fiction collection. So I'm gonna look at Holes by Louis Sachar and click on open to open that book. To turn the page of each book, of each uh, page in within each book that you select, you just click on the right, on the right panel and the arrow. And as you can see, it, this arrow will help you advance each page in the book so you can read. You have some options here. If you don't like the size of the font, you can go up to the display options icon on the top toolbar where you see the capitalize, uh, capital A and lowercase a, and you can change out the font if you want, make it smaller, make it larger. You can have a single page reading experience, or you can have a double page reading experience. You can um, use a white background, black background, beige, gray, or blue. Going back up to the top toolbar again, you can also uh, use this bookmarking um, feature, which will help you with the Beanstack reading challenge. Just click on the plus sign, and it will actually tell you the last time that you actually read this particular section, which was April 13th, and in my case, 3 11 a.m. <laughs> yes, I'm working late. Another option is that you can take notes as you are um, reading the book as well. If you like this book, you can go up to the top toolbar and click on the book options icon, and you can click on check out book. And notice in the lower center part of the page, it's going to um, tell you that you've checked out this book and it's going to give you the date due on this book. 
So here, checked out polls due 427 2020. If you did not catch that, that's okay. Close the book, click the back arrow here, go in the upper right hand corner where you see the three bars next to Destiny Discover, and look at the checkout section. And you see, this is where we just checked out holes by Louis Achar. Now, if you would like to keep the book, you may keep it until the 27th. If you're done with the book or you get done with the, reading the book a little earlier before the 27th, just come back into the section and click return. This makes it very easy for the next student to, who wants to come along behind you and read a book. So now we're going to go back into Destiny Discover. And there's another option of ebook reading. This is called interactive ebooks. For right now, we're just going to look at this book. It's called Secret, Secret Weapons A Tale of Revolutionary War. So, this is an interactive multimedia book. This can be a lot of fun. When you click the open icon, now it opens the book. And the book is actually read to you with a little theme music. So, let's listen. Secret Weapons, A Tale of the Revolutionary War by Gene Gunderson, illustrated by Jesus Alberto. Now you would have to advance each Introducing page of the book. Colonel James Barrett, Mr. Milton, Will Adamson, British soldiers, Daniel so as you can see, as you advance each in each page of this book, the um, book will it will narrate the story to you. It will read the story to you, which a lot of kids do enjoy. Through reading. the trees, I see a British redcoat, the enemy. I crouch behind a tree, holding my musket tight. So that's the interactive ebook. There are a lot of fun. A lot of students do enjoy uh, reading this book, these types of books as well. Going back into Destiny Discover, I'm going to exit out of that section. You can also enjoy books by um, accessing the audiobook collection. So I know that Percy Jackson is a very popular series. And we could look at The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. So we're just going to click on play and you're going to just hear a wonderful narration of this book. Listening Library presents The Last Olympian, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Book 5, by Rick Riordan. Read for you by Jesse Bernstein. Chapter 1. I Go Cruising with Explosives. Same process. If you would like to check the book out, you just go over to the books, book option tab, Click on check out books and then you're able to keep this book out, which is an audio book for two weeks. I want to emphasize something. You can access ebooks, interactive ebooks and audio books by using a desktop computer and a tablet or your cell phone. As long as you sign in as you were shown at the beginning of this presentation. So for right now, that concludes our presentation. If you have any questions on how to access any of these resources, please feel free to reach out to me at jareadersLMC.com at gmail.com. That's jareadersLMC at gmail.com. Thank you much and you all have a good one. Bye-bye now.